controller. The product that you are seeing is our RNG GSM based mobile motor pump controller. It is specially designed to facilitate the agriculturists, farmers and in many industries to operate the motor pumps in remote location from anywhere by giving a call, SMS or through mobile app. It provides such an ease and comfort for people who need to travel long distances to monitor their motor pumps. It has been specially designed using advanced embedded microcontroller technology with unique features and quality. As the first step, insert the SIM before the installation of the device. Insert it gently with the gold plated surface facing upwards. Once inserted, it gets locked. Press once again if you want to remove it. Connect the GSM antenna in the connector provided on the left side of the controller. Give input, power supply and relay output connection as per the installation manual. Once this is over, switch on the unit. You can see the power LED is on. Motor LED is off and GSM signal LED is blinking. This first blinking of GSM LED indicates that it is searching for the network. Once the network is connected, the GSM LED blinks every 3 seconds. Now you can see the network is connected. Now let's see how to configure, control and monitor the GSM unit. Go to the Play Store. Search RNG Mobile Starter and install it in your Android phone. Open up the app and you can see three menus. Control menu, register menu and settings menu. Click on the register menu. Enter your own GSM SIM number. And click the save button. Your number is saved now. You can register 5 users. User 1, User 2, User 3, User 4 and User 5. Now let me register User 1. Enter 10 digit mobile number of the first user. Click on the save button. You can see the number is registered successfully. In the same way you can register other users. Go to the settings menu and press auto sms reply enable button. It enables the auto reply sms facility for your every operation. As you can see, auto SMS reply enabled. Go to the control menu. You can see three buttons for controlling the motor pump to switch on and switch off. First two buttons through an SMS and the last button by giving a call. Now, let us check by switching on the motor through the green button. We get an SMS of motor is on. Now in the device the LED light for the motor on is glowing. We get an auto reply SMS indicating the motor is on. Now let us check by switching off the motor by pressing the red button. As we can see the LED light switches off and this indicates the motor is off. We get an auto reply SMS indicating motor off. Now let us try by calling through the blue button. Press the blue button.
we can see the motor is on the led light is glowing we get an sms that your motor is on now we call back again to switch off the motor as you can see the led light switches off now the motor is off and we get an auto reply sms on our app motor off now let us go to the settings menu the first setting is activates for registered user or any user second setting is auto sms reply the third one is auto on enable or disable setting if you enable the auto on button the gsm unit itself will switch on the motor pump when the power resumes next motor status it gives you the status whether the motor is in on condition or off condition next one is setting status it gives the status of the first three settings next user list it gives the list of registered users the next one is power on time you get an sms denoting the power on time the last one is help command it give it will give you the list of user commands to control and configure the gsm controller